I recently discovered that my models contain a hidden flaw that could raise its ugly head at any time. I'm going to explain the flaw, demonstrate how to reproduce it, and demonstrate a couple of workarounds to minimize its impact. I'm using FreeCAD version 0.18.4 on Kubuntu Linux to demonstrate this problem. And I understand that it hasn't been resolved yet in version 0.19, which is in the development version. So what I'm going to show you are simply workarounds, not solutions. The flaw that I'm talking about is called the topological naming problem. FreeCAD models are a sequence of steps that modify the results of the previous step. The topological naming problem can occur when you modify the results of a previous step which has an unanticipated consequence in a later step. In my experience, the order in which you construct and modify your model dictates whether you will encounter this problem. This is especially important when you create a sketch on top of a face in an existing solid and then go back and change the number of faces in the original solid. When this happens, FreeCAD does not maintain the link to the original face in some cases. This description is a bit hazy, so let's look at an example of the problem in action and a couple of ways you can deal with it. I will design a leg for a small step stool as though I will be prototyping the part in my shed. This will demonstrate how the problem works. So we'll create a new drawing, switch to the part design workbench, create a body and a sketch and we'll create the sketch in the YZ plane. We'll start by creating a solid that represents a plank of wood. It will be 300 millimeters long, 150 millimeters wide and 15 millimeters thick. We'll create a sketch that is centered around the origin of the model. So to do this we'll just use a rectangle. We will center it around the origin by making a symmetric constraint, we'll make it 300 millimeters tall and 150 wide. In fact, move that one to the bottom just so I don't have to apply it again later. We will fit it to view and make sure we're in an isometric view and then we're just going to pad it to 15 millimeters. Next we're going to add a curved cutout to the bottom of the leg to add stability to the stool. So we're going to select the front face and create a sketch on it. I'm going to bring in the external geometry so I've got something to reference. I am going to create a construction line which I will use to constrain the height of the cutout and that's going to be 25 mil. At the moment though I haven't converted it to a construction line so we just simply select the line and toggle the into a construction line. I'm then going to add a arc that has two endpoints and a rim point. And the arc will be symmetric around the, um, the center of the plank and tangent to the construction line to set the height. And the width of the foot part of the base will be 20 mil. And then I'm just going to draw a line to complete the cutout. So now what we'll do is we'll just uh, create a pocket and get rid of the whole thing. So now we have, switch to the front view, now you can see that we've got the cutout in the bottom, but the top looks too wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the original plank and I'm going to modify that. So we're just going to make it have a bit more of a slope at the above the top half. Sorry, in the top half. just need to reconstrain everything the 
slope size are the same length. We'll make the top 80 mil, a little over half the size, original size. We'll make the vertical height of the slope 100 mil, and we'll make the bottom of the slope 50 mil from the origin point. We still have one degree of freedom, and that is I forgot to reset the length of the overall plank to be 300 mil. So now when we save this, what I expect to see is that the plank will change and there'll be a cutout at the bottom. But where did my cutout go? It should be connected to phase six. But if we highlight over that face, you can see it's now phase eight. So what's going on? Well, the sketch is still linked to phase six. And if we go and click into the sketch, you'll see that phase six is now one of the slopes. And so the sketch can't be put on it anymore because it just does not make sense. And so this is an example of the topological naming problem. How can we fix it? One way you can prevent this occurring is to approach the design in the same way you'd approach prototyping the part in the shed. I'll recreate the blank and the cutout as before. It won't take long. As you can see, we're back to the board. Now, we'll do the same thing, we'll create a sketch and do the cutout at the bottom. If I was prototyping this, the next thing I'd do is I would be taking it to the table so I'm cutting off the sloped sections. So what we'll do is we'll just create a sketch again on the same face, we'll bring in some reference geometry and we will do draw two triangles. Now you could do one triangle and then mirror it once you've cut the pocket but given that they're so simple little designs I'm not going to bother too much with that at the moment that one's out isn't it yep all right that and that are equal, that and that and that are equal. Make that 80 again. And that length is 100. So we have a fully constrained sketch. And then you would just use a pocket to cut it all the way through. Done that, now there's no problem with the model. As you can see, we've added the uh, slopes cutouts and also the cutout at the bottom is still there, so everything's all good. We've designed our way around this problem in the example, but the underlying problem is still there and could raise its head at a later stage. This may not be the best solution, but it is a solution. And as long as you're careful about modifying the previous steps, you should be able to get away with it. Another way the problem can be worked around is to create the cutout for the feet on a datum plane. So the first thing I'm going to roll it back to a blank plank and off camera I actually saved this so I'm going to close this file and just reopen the blank plank and we'll start from there. So 
I'm going to create a datum plane that references this face of the plank, which is face 6. So select the face, create a datum plane. I'm going to disconnect the datum plane from the face and take all the other settings as default. If you don't disconnect the datum plane from the face, then what you'll find is that it remains linked and you run the risk of having the topological naming problem occur in a subsequent step. Now without selecting anything, we're going to create a sketch and we're going to associate it with the datum plane and then we will just simply create the cutout as normal. And then we'll cut it out as normal. Through all. And we'll turn off the datum plane because we don't need it. And now we'll go back and we'll modify the original sketch as we normally do. And now you can see that the cutout is still there. Now when the original plank is modified, the cutout for the feet does not get detached from the model. This is a workaround and it's just a different solution than reordering the design steps. There are a couple of things that we need to consider when using a datum plane. You need to disconnect the datum plane from the face that you referenced it from, otherwise you could still have a problem with your model. To demonstrate this, I'll start again. So I'll just go back to the saved version. Oops. Okay, so what we'll do is we've got the, the, the plank. I will then create a datum plane on it and accept everything as default. Now we'll create a sketch on the datum plane as previously. Look at that all the way through. And then turn the datum plane off because you don't need it. Go back and modify the original pad. And the problem should raise its ugly head again. You can see the problem has occurred again. And if we open up the sketch, it's now an invalid sketch so you need to be careful about that the other thing I found is that if you create a datum plane on the surface on the face that you want detach it and then create a sketch on the on that datum plane directly and trigger the problem as well. So I'll just demonstrate that. Way through, turn off the datum plane, go back and mess around with the original sketch. So you can see in 
this case that the cutout didn't get fully removed and if we look at the sketch you see it's no longer associated with the geometry that I originally put in place because the faces have changed and you see we've got reference geometry here and here so we're still triggering that problem the models in this video were designed to illustrate the topological naming problem I'm not advocating that you modify earlier steps in your model in the way that I've demonstrated today but since FreeCAD allows you to do so you need to understand what could happen I'm not sure whether using the datum plane instead of sketching directly on the face is best practice however it seems to me that using the datum plane will give you the best chance to avoid this problem you'll need to decide for yourself what suits you as best practice I hope you found this video useful if you did hit the like button and please consider buying me a cup of coffee to help support this channel please leave comments questions and topic suggestions below please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell icon to receive notifications when I release a new video thanks for watching and we'll see you next time